Hey Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 7.2 number 33. And here we were given a system that had a bunch of fractions in it. So the first thing I want to do is knock out the fractions. I'm going to multiply each of their equations by their respective LCD. So I'm going to multiply everything in this first equation by 40 because the least common multiple of 5, 8, and 2 is 40. Here, my LCD, or my least common multiple between 5, 4, and 3, that would be 60. And then for this third equation, we've got 5, 8, and 2 again, so that's going to be 40. And when I do that, there's my new system. And just taking a look at it, in terms of which variable would I like to eliminate, the Zs seem like a prime candidate because they all have 20s with them. So all I would be doing is multiplying equations by negative one. Um, if I didn't pick the z's, I'd probably pick the x's. And the reason for that is because they have some opposite signs here. And, and 16, uh, you can multiply that to get to 32 and to 48. So if I didn't pick the z's, I'd go with the x's. But I'm going to pick the z's. So I'm just going to pair up the, oops, let me get my pen back in. I'll pair up the first and second equation, and I'll pair up the second and third equation. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this second equation here by negative 1. And I'm going to pair it up with the first equation. So you see me keeping my first equation as is, multiplying my second equation by negative 1. And when I add those two equations or those two altered equations together, I get this this set of equation or this equation again two variables that's good I've gone from three to two variables um, but let's go ahead and again we'll keep that second equation multiplied by negative one but now let's combo it with the third equation and when I work that out algebraically here's my second equation with two variables so now I've got a new system I've got a new two by two and this two by two is great because again I'm going to eliminate the y's they have the same number, they just need opposite signs. So no problem, let's multiply the second equation by negative one. When I do that, the x's get eliminated, and excuse me, the y's get eliminated, and I can solve for x, x is five, and then it's a matter of back subbing. So I take that five and I can plug it into any equation I want. I'm just gonna plug it into that one. All right, when I plug in x equaling five, I get y is 12. And then I can take the fact that x is 5 and y is 12 and plug it into any of my original equations. And if I scroll all the way back up here, I wound up plugging it into this first one. All right, that's the work that you see going on here, and I get the z is 15. So there is my ordered triple. If I ever want to check my answer, I could swap out or I could store 5 in x, 12 in y, and 15 and z and go back to my original original order or system a uh, three by three system all right so i could plug in the 5 12 oops let me remind myself what was my order triple 5 12 15 thank you all right i could plug in for all of these x being we'll do 5 12 15 right and if i had stored that and if i did Four fifths times five minus seven eighths times twelve plus fifteen. Excuse me, one half times fifteen. If that was equal to one, great. And I could repeat that down here and repeat it down here. And if I get equality on all three of my original equations, then I know I have the right answer. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.